Welcome to Obscure Depths MLB Preview, the Detroit Tigers. Surprise, surprise, I'm picking Detroit to win the AL Central. It's, I know it seems like the obvious choice, but you know what? Sometimes the best choice is the obvious choice. Let's go around the field. Uh, Milky, Milky Cabrera. Miggy Cabrera at third base. Best, Arguably the best player in baseball. I mean, what, what am I going to say? If you don't know who... Miggy is, you're probably not watching this, so let's go to shortstop. Johnny Johnny Peralta. A little bit of a struggle last year with the 239 batting average, but this guy can still put the ball out of the ballpark. And with a good team around him, I think you're going to see a little bit of a, a rise, certainly in batting average, maybe a little bit more in power. I know he's getting up there in age, but he's still a quality shortstop. Uh, Omar Infante, not a, not a flashy guy, but just very quietly gets things done for your team, so you really can't... Uh, Really can't discount that at all. Um, uh, Prince Fielder at first base, maybe you heard of him. This guy can hit the ball out of the ballpark as well. Um, between him and Miggy, you're probably the best one-two punch in baseball. 313 batting average, 30 home runs for Prince last year. Um, I love this cat. I love watching him rip rip those home runs. Uh, Alex Avila behind the plate. Avila had a bit of a down year last year. Um, I look for him to bounce back and have a nice, nice season. Only hit nine home runs. I look for him to be more in the 15 to 20 range, get that batting average up around 260 as well. Um, left field, we got Andy Dirks and Quentin Berry. Uh, nice little combination of, out there. I think those guys can, between the two of them, get some stuff done. They also have Brandon Vosch to compete out there in the outfield. Uh, Austin Jackson in center had a really nice year last year. I look for him to get more mature this year and pr maybe even have, be up there in the top 10 in the MVP race. I think this guy can five-tool, he can run, he can hit, he can throw, he can hit for power, he can steal you a base, too. That's just, that's certainly, he's certainly a nice asset to, asset to have. Uh, Torrey Hunter and Wright, very quietly, this guy has just been one of the best hitters in baseball over the last decade. He, he really don't get much better than, than having a right, Torrey Hunter in right field. I know he's getting up there in age, but he just, he just does what he does, and he 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 doesn't complain. And he's gonna you know he's gonna play great defense too. Uh, Victor Martinez is gonna DH. Missed all of last year. Um, might take him a few weeks to get his timing down once the season gets going. But I think you're gonna see some nice things from him as well. Uh, looking at the rotation, obviously Verlander, complete stud. Not get not get much better than that. Uh, Doug Fister. Kind of a kind of a quiet, non-flashy guy, but he just goes out there and gets the job done. Had a bit of a struggle last year, but I think he's going to be a better pitcher this year. Uh, Max Scherzer finally came into his own last year, striking out 231 guys in just 187 innings. His ERA was nice and down, down there under four too, which has got to be super encouraging for this these Detroit brass. Um, Anibal Sanchez, uh, another nice veteran arm to have. Um, not a, like I said, not a big flashy guy, but just a guy that takes that ball every fifth day and gets the job done. Rick Purcello, uh, still young, young talent, but I think he's going to be much better this year too. Um, he certainly had his struggles last year, but I think you're going to see a, a, a different pitcher. Uh, Drew Smiley's also going to be competing for that fifth spot. Smiley had a decent year last year, kind of fell off a little bit. He had some weird kind of injuries going on, but. Uh, He's going to be competing for a spot in the rotation. That's going to be a nice battle between him and Porcello, I think. So, obviously, whoever gets that, the, you know, they're, they're in pretty good hands with those two young guys fighting for the fifth spot with all that experience they have already. Uh, this bullpen is a little bit suspect, but I am still picking this team to win his first, finish first in the division. Uh, Bruce Rundown is the, thing that, is the guy that I think they're going to close. Uh, might be closer by committee to start the season, but they also have Joaquin Benoit, Al, Al Albuquerque, Phil Koch. Octavio Dotel, uh, so not a flashy bullpen. They do have some nice veteran veteran arms. You know, that I'm sure they're going to look to Dotel to kind of take these guys under his wing and just kind of teach them teach them what they need to do. Um, but uh, moving forward, I you know I, they probably might add a nice bullpen arm if they need one going down the stretch. But again, I'm picking this team to finish first in the AL Central. I just think they have all the a lot of firepower, and I don't think anybody else in the AL Central can compete with their stability. This has been Obscure Depths MLB Preview, the Detroit Tigers. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.